Exponential increase in the number of girls, girls who were six, seven year old who started coming in and wanting to play cricket. I remember I started playing cricket and training to be a cricketer when I was 18. So when I would see these seven year old girls, I would say they have like a head start of 11 years. And I was very happy when that started happening. Um, in terms of the facilities that I got when I started playing cricket, I think um, we trained under GCA and uh, it, I will not be wrong in saying that the kind of facilities that we got were at par with the men's team. Uh, I just played one year of under 19 cricket but now that we have under 15 tournament for girls and then you have another tournament under 23 which has been uh, introduced by BCCI is, is great in terms of the number of what would happen initially was after under 19, not all the girls would make up the senior team and uh, the whole, there, there were times the whole batch would be washed out. But because now you have an under 23 tournament, uh, they are still involved and which is really good. A uh, lot, lot, lot has changed in terms of visibility, I would say. Initially, the domestic uh, tournaments wouldn't be televised. Now we have the domestic tournaments. Uh, now, I mean, the teams that have made the quarterfinals and uh, the league's knockouts the matches will be televised. I would say the, the main difference when I look at cricket is when I started playing cricket, I had so many more friends who were really good, but they could not continue cricket because they would dream of playing for cricket, but they couldn't persuade their parents uh, to do the same. But with WPL and so many other tournaments happening now, for a five year old kid, they get to see a woman cricketer playing on TV and they can dream bigger, and the parents there are that are sitting alongside them, they can support them. So uh, for me, that's the biggest change that has happened. What went wrong? Like, it's been 45 years or 22 years. The trophy tablet and the trophy trophy is still empty. What more? What do you think is of that? Regarding the empty trophy, I think it's uh, quite unfortunate that we haven't been able to get it to go up for so many years, so almost 45 years. I don't want to sound like everyone else, but I think there are many factors in this. I think on some factors, uh, the GCA uh, as an association has also, as its drawbacks, also failed on so many of the points. And also I would say that the players now, I think Sapnil and Shika would also be able to tell you, now Sapnil will be able to tell you better because he's become a coach now. The right attitude of the players, uh, most of the players, you know, in Goa, we say, Sushekar, I do play back at you. I think the hunger there is missing in many of the players now. Uh, I would say, during Sophia's time, the players were a little bit more dedicated than what they are right now. And right now, the attitude is quite changing. I would say there are many opportunities for these players and many, there is a lot of exposure given to these players. So, I think the players need to be a little bit more hungry. For the opportunity, then their final aim uh, should not be just playing the Ranji Trophy, it should be eventually playing India. I think only then they can push uh, the bar and you know, we can have more of Shika or more of Sophie than Shadab. So I think um, that is the road ahead. But coming back to GCA, I think we also have failed to produce young talent from the grassroots. I think we need to work on that, we need to work on the under 15 under 16. Eventually, when we start on this, we have uh, recently we have started the centers for the junior boys, and we plan to expand this, and we plan to decentralize the entire system, and we plan to take cricket to these villages of Goa where we can get good talent, raw talent. Just not really rely on the association to provide the facilities, and then only they will work on all the aspects. But when we played, as Shukla said, at that time there was not much of uh, exposure, there was not not much facilities also. But then, then there was that hunger. That hunger was somewhere I also feel is dying. I don't know the reason behind it. Maybe they are getting everything uh, spoon fed. That might be one of the re reasons why that hunger is dying. But uh, ultimately, it's up to the individual as well that uh, they have to they have to make sure that no, because sport is something where the career is not that big. It's hardly eight to ten years, max to max. Or maybe one of the best players will go on to play for another 5 more years, maybe 15 years. But as a player, one has to think that this 10 years has to be fully dedicated to the sport. You can't play around with anything else. Once you fool around with this game, obviously the game fools around with you. That's the big thing. But uh, 
with today's exposure at the same time, I guess one of the biggest biggest uh, spoiler of any any budding cricketer, I would say, is the mobile. That's one of the biggest thing. Uh, I just uh, came to know uh, just recently, just few days back, uh, even when we Vidarbha won the Ranbir Trophy, I got to know that uh, when Basim came into uh, the scenario, he was the captain, come coach. He had laid down certain uh, discipline factors like you know, what needs to be done to make sure we want to win the, uh, the championship. And one of the aspects was he allowed the first class players to use mobile for just one hour in a day. So this kind of discipline, if you try to get in the system, initially obviously no one will like it. Players will definitely like you know, won't be for it. But then certain things needs to be done if you want to think big and go ahead. And you can't just like you know, get the results as people said. You can't get the results over that. You have to like you know, and not just one or two guys can get it. Entire uh, the bunch of 15 or maybe the core bunch, whatever the probables are, like around 30, they all have to be on equal uh, sync. Then only there is a possibility that we can like, you know, achieve that final goal, what we are aiming for the last 45 years. I think sports cars, sports conclave, the Hindustan group. See, this type of event never happened in Goa. This is the first kind of a V event is happening in Goa, and all eminent uh, speaker. Uh, all association, president, secretary, all players, uh, referees, international media, everyone, you are there. It's a good initiative by uh, Sportscast and the Hindu group. See, I'm the last budget. We have given CM Saran, he called all association to give your budget what is your requirement so we have produced him last year's uh, 10 crores is our budget we want to increase our budget to for international matches to be held here in goa last year we have held uh, uzbekistan after so many years exchange program uh, india and uzbekistan so to do that we require a lot of money as uh, in budget honorable chief minister has mentioned six crores is for football and GFA. So till now we are waiting to get that money. We have put a file, but uh, you know the government system is. Uh, I request uh, sports minister and uh, honorable CMs to just expedite this and put that money, whichever you have announced, in our system. See, to run any sports is not easy task. Last one uh, since uh, November, I have taken 20, uh, my charge. We spend more than uh, six, seven crores, and government is given only, apart from national game, only twelve lakhs. Is this possible to run a organization in twelve lakhs? No. So government should think about it and come forward and support. See, we have registered player in Goa, two lakh sixty thousand players in Goa, highest in the country. But lack of government support. Government is giving us ground. So although we government is having 200 grounds in their custody, we ask them to release 11 grounds. Till today they have not released. If you can cannot maintain, at least give to us whatever rate they ask. We are ready to pay. But give us so at our kids can our players can enjoy the uh, game. Uh, it was a mountain, 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 it was that is from under 8 age, under 10, under 12, under 13, under 14, Magir uh, under 21, senior uh, matching hota. So, Enka, Ami, Dortole, Zalasi, Burjang, Jadna, to sports and Unsa sport geto. 
इनवॉल्व करतलो शिकपाक तंका बरे प्रेक्टीस आसता सो इन दिसता म्हाका इन कमिंग डेज वी शूड गेट मनी इन अवर किटी नवे बजेट सो पयलेच आमचे जे बजेट आमकां एलॉट केला ते दिवचे म्हणून आमचो रिक्वेस्ट आसतलो सी आता जी एफ इन पयले लास्ट धा वर्सान कितें लॅक ऑफ आहे ते आम्ही इम्प्रूव केले असा आणि तुम्ही पैसे आख्खे गोयान फुटबॉल चालता जी एफ ए जी एफ डी सी आय वॉज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ इट तेन्ना आम्ही कितें सांगले दोन्ही मर्ज करूया जी एफ ए वी हॅव वन नाईंटी फाय क्लब्स जो जेन्ना जेन्ना दुसरे गेमी जातल्यो जी एफ डी सीन कितें अपटू टुवेल्व तेंका मागीर तेजे खेळपाक कांच वेळ ना सो तेंका आमच्या क्लबाशीच खेळचे पडटा सो तेंच्यांनी फॉवर्ड आम्ही एक मर्च केले आणि जे तेंका फायव्ह क्रोज दिता आणि आमचे जे फंडिंग आसा एक करून एक्सचेंज जातले भुरग्यांक बरे चान्सीस मेळतले आणि बऱ्यांतलो बरो आमचे जे गोंयचे स्पोर्ट्स स्टेट स्पोर्ट्स आसा तेका नाव मेळतले एक एक वायट दिसता की गोवा एकूच स्टेट आसा तेंच्यांनी फुटबॉल वा स्टेट स्पोर्ट डिक्लेअर केल्लो पूण तेच स्टेट स्पोर्ट आता फंडिंग गावना म्हणून सरकारा कडल्यान तेच म्हणटा न्हू आता तुम्ही पळोवन वचा आसाम आसाम आसले स्टेटीन सिक्स हंड्रेड क्रोर्स ओनली फुटबॉलान दिता ओरिसा थ्री थाउजंड क्रोर्स ओनली फुटबॉलान दिता कित्याक दिता ते एनी स्पोर्ट्सान तुका नाव मेळतलो स्टेटाचे डेवलपमेंट जातले स्पोर्ट्सान तुझे नाव फास्ट करपाक जाता सो ते जाग्यार आमचे गोवर्मेंटान मातशे चितून पयशे पंप केले आम्ही तेंका आमचो जो गोवन फुटबॉलाचो जो फ्लॅग आसा ते फुडें दवरपाक आमकां काम येतलो